Well, as we mentioned on Foreign Affairs, President Biden confirmed that he had ordered the US military to build a temporary pier off the coast of Gaza. He said it would ensure a massive increase in aid for Palestinians. He warned Israel that humanitarian assistance should never be used as a bargaining chip. Protecting and saving innocent lives has to be a priority. As we look to the future, the only real solution to the situation is a two-state solution over time. <clears throat> and I say this, as a lifelong supporter of Israel, my entire career, no one has a stronger record with Israel than I do. I challenge any of you here. I'm the only American president of Israel in wartime. But there is no other path that guarantees Israel's security and democracy. There is no other path that guarantees that Palestinians can live in peace with, with peace and dignity. Well, let's speak to our Middle East correspondent, Yolan Nell, who is in Jerusalem. So we heard that warning to Israel that aid should never be used as a bargaining chip. How has that message gone down in Israel? Well, we haven't had an official response, but certainly it's been picked up, as you'd expect, by the Israeli media. Uh, that, along with a promise by Mr. Biden that Israeli hostages who remain uh, in the Gaza Strip will be released, that he is dedicating his efforts uh, to working on that. And we know that there were, of course, um, some Israeli hostage uh, families and former Israeli hostages uh, in the chamber where Mr. Biden uh, was speaking. Now. A lot of uh, focus here is on that plan for a new uh, temporary uh, port for Gaza, a temporary causeway that would be built to allow uh, supply ships bringing aid um, to get close to Gaza. At the moment, it doesn't have any kind of deep sea port. Um, a lot more explanation of what exactly that means um, because there was a briefing given by uh, the White House in advance of the State of the Union address. Um, it appears that aid ships will uh, go to Cyprus um, and there Israeli security checks will be carried out and then um, there will be uh, U.S. warships uh, or U.S. Uh, military personnel involved offshore in uh, overseeing uh, proceedings, but there will be no U.S. Uh, military boots on the ground in Gaza involved in the construction of this causeway. Um, we understand that it could take a month or two to complete, um, and of course that won't address then the immediate need uh, to get aid into Gaza, but it does look like President Biden really wanted to have some kind of a concrete step uh, to show that U.S. military action was being taken amid a lot of frustration with its close ally Israel. Um, it's been calling for weeks now to increase the flow of aid going into Gaza. Yeah, do you think the fact that they are having to build this pier is a sign that Benjamin Netanyahu isn't listening to the US about getting more aid in on the ground? Well, the calls from the US and uh, from UN agencies have been for Israel to open up uh, more border crossings uh, into the Gaza Strip to allow aid to get through um, and to allow aid distribution to take place more effectively. Of course, what we've seen is um, the US and uh, Jordan, other countries resorting to aid drops uh, in recent days, which is not a very effective way of getting aid to those who need it the most. Um, I mean, Israel does have its own container port, uh, Ashdod, just about a 40-minute drive uh, to the north of the Gaza Strip. There's been a lot of resistance in Israel to using its facilities to bring in aid. And so aid at the moment is mostly going in um, via Egypt. It's flown in there and comes in through the crossings uh, on the, in the south of the Gaza Strip. Yolanel in Jerusalem, thank you very much.